Hello, world. I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and answers that you can use. That brick film intro created by Francesco Yanterno, and I think he did a good job. Oh, and by the way, I'm getting Google Glass! The tweet came from Project Glass on Twitter earlier, as opposed to a tweet coming out of somewhere else. Anyway, it was a response to the tweet that I made 35 days ago with a hashtag, if I had glass. And I don't feel like you were left out because I had mentioned this in an earlier TLDR, so you had just as much of a chance as I did. My tweet was, I would use it, you know, Google Glass, within our daily Perillo vlog to give our community an even more personal point of view. And they responded, Chris Perillo, you're invited to join our Glass Explorers program. Woohoo! They actually used the word woohoo there. Make sure to follow us. We'll DM in the coming weeks. Now, the reason they said that I'm invited to the Glass Explorers program, because as I understand it, I actually have to go to New York, which I was just there, and too bad they didn't send this, you know, before, uh, or San Francisco or LA to get the Google Glass, you know, the product itself. Plus, I need to actually front $1,500. So it's not like all 8,000 people who were invited to be Glass Explorers could actually become Glass Explorers because, well, it ain't free. So what I'm going to be looking for is a sponsor or series of sponsors who wants to participate with Google Glass because I'll be wearing them. What business would not want to appear in a Perillo vlog? Would you want to be in a Perillo vlog? It might happen at Vlogger Fair. Anyway, stay tuned for more details. I do plan on jumping through those hoops, so I will have a Google Glass Explorer edition, which will hopefully give feedback to the people who are actually crafting the Google Glass product for general release, which is going to be happening later this year. Sound like I said general. How about general release? Sound better? Indeed, it is quite an honor to be accepted, because not everybody was. And even though the expense is going to be just a bit out of budget, I'm going to do my best to mitigate it and get my hands or face into Google Glass to wear it regularly, and you will see more of it right here. Now, my question to you is, in relation to Google Glass, uh, not if you want to actually appear in a Perillo vlog or, you know, somehow in a recording wherein I'm using Google Glass. Uh, That's kind of hard to say if you say that five times fast. Google Glass, Google Glass, Google... Okay, never mind. Uh, It's really, what would you do if you had a chance to wear Google Glass, because even when they are released for the general public, they're going to be hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Not inexpensive, but it just depends on how much of a bleeding edge user you are. So give me some ideas. What should I be doing with Google Glass inside the Perillo vlog? I guess I could record a TLDR wearing Google Glass too, or even you know stream somehow and show people kind of what's going on, at least as far as I can see. Live? Oh god, I better upgrade my data plan. It has been said to work with the iPhone. Oh, you use Android? I've got some free software for you, something we released this week. Funicode, that's F-U-N-I-C-O-D-E, and this application will transmogrify your text. I typed in my name, and you can see it's backwards, upside down, ROT13. We also have base64 encoding, binary encoding, hexadecimal, decimal, circumcision. Well, that's not actually going to happen to you or your phone. That's just the the transformation name. I don't know. I just made these words up. Well, I didn't make up that word, obviously, but I mean... in. Anyway, so you've got other text transformations that could be fun, and you can copy that text out to post anywhere else inside of Android that will make your text fun anywhere. And it's available right now for free on Google Play. Unfortunately, we don't have an iOS version available. I just have to find a developer who can actually port what we've created over to iOS, and then it'll be possible. And I know there are a lot of iOS developers out there, but you know, finding the right one, that's a trick and a half. I'm very happy that Eddie Ringle helped me with the Android version of this particular product. We're not making any money from it. There are no ads, no nags, or anything. It's just kind of fun. The code. Plus, I just kind of like that icon. F you! The only problem is we only have 13 five-star ratings right now. So if you have Android, could you download and rate it? You know, let other people know that it's available and it's fun. The code. I like glass, but I hate paper. You know, I've got a few pieces lying around the home office right now. i got to get rid of it. I, I'm just a big paperless kind of guy, if only because I would rather index the documents digitally. I can't even say digitally today. 
Anyway, who wouldn't want to go paperless? Well, if you're looking for ideas on how to go paperless, we've given you some suggestions on LockerGnome.com today. The link, of course, is in this video's description, but just to let you know, Shoeboxed is one of the services that I happen to use to go paperless. I basically shove papers into this envelope and then send it off to the Shoeboxed service. They convert and even do some OCRing of, as opposed to OCDing, of the paper, and then everything is digitized, even though it was analog at one point in time. You know, paper to electronics, and I don't have to deal with the muss of fuss of paper, so it works for me. Go.tagjag.com slash shoeboxed if you want me to get the referral credit if you sign up for the service. And of course, we've also listed as I scroll down the page, uh, oh yeah, uh, Doxy, if you, you're into actually having like an actual physical scanner for the receipts and documentation that you have on your desk. Uh, I, I have scanners. You know, I got one behind me, but I even have those uh, receipt scanners. I've tried them in the past. I think I've reviewed them on YouTube a long time ago. Uh, yeah, they, they're relatively easy to use, but oh my God, they just take so much time to get through. I'd rather, so much rather send my stuff to a service, or even if it's just simple stuff, uh, use my smartphone as a scanner, you know, whether you're using an Android, Windows phone, iPhone, whatever, um, and, and just do things, you know, without messing with clunky pieces of hardware that have to be connected with other pieces of hardware. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm a huge fan of going paperless, and I would be surprised if any of you weren't. One in five BlackBerry 10 apps is really an Android app. Hmm, I wonder how many BlackBerry 10 apps are available for Android. None. At which point you kind of have to ask yourself, why buy a BlackBerry 10 when you could just buy an Android device? Netflix goes sci-fi with its next original series, Sense8. And I do believe it's being produced by the Wachowski brothers. You know, the ones who were responsible for Matrix. Not just the first one, but the second and third. Well, hopefully they'll do better with Sense8. I don't have an active Netflix account right now, although I should probably pick it up because I've heard a lot of good things about House of Cards, and I love Kevin Spacey. Not in like a, you know, I want to marry him and have his children kind of way, uh, but just really appreciate his ability to act. Store combats showrooming with a $5 just looking fee. Are you guilty of walking into a brick and mortar store just to price the items or see them in person and then you turn around and buy them online because they're either more affordable or it's just more convenient? Oh, it's kind of odd to think that it would be more convenient to get something online versus the product you're actually holding in your hands at the time. Yeah, that's right. I sell stuff on deals.lockernome.com like the BoomBot 2 Bluetooth speaker currently available for 30% off. What's not to like? And even if you didn't like that particular product, you should sign up for the email newsletter because we'll send you the daily deals that we have. Software, hardware, gadgets, you know, things that are perfect for geeks. And if you have a product you'd like to sell on deals.lockernome.com, just drop me a line, chris at perillo.com. We'll see if we can get it in there. But of course, we're also gonna wanna offer everybody else a discount. And speaking of nice gestures, I got this in the mail the other day and couldn't figure it out until I looked at this piece of paper, which was signed by Michael Gerhardt. Chris, I love the vlogs. I know you've been skeptical about keeping them at 10 minutes, but I enjoy all 10 minutes every day. Thanks, dude. In the box, I've included a Skinomi Pebble screen protector. I purchased it thinking I would be buying a Pebble, but I couldn't afford it being in college and all. Best of luck. So basically, remember that uh, complaint that I said about, you know, kind of oil and fingerprints building up on the Pebble screen? This screen protector will keep Pebble from getting dirty. What's the 411 on the Pebble? Yeah, I'd say so far, so good. Things get better after you get through college and pay off your student loans and get into your career. That's the good news. The bad news is you may have to wait a while to get all the gadgets you can possibly fit into your house. Here's something everybody who uses Windows can use, a free ebook on speed. Well, it's not an ebook on speed. It's, it's about Windows speed. It's going to describe why Windows slows down and what you can do to prevent it from happening too quickly. Diana just brought me some unboxing juice. I don't have anything to unbox though. Oh, wow, okay. A Sapphire Edge VS series bundled with Visa mount. It's a mini PC. I don't think I'm going to unbox it right now, but it has an AMD A84555M 1.6 gigahertz quad core processor inside AMD Radeon HD 7600G graphics processor. The chipset is the A70M hub controller. That means anything to you. Uh, memory seems to be about four gigs of DDR3 a mini display port, an HDMI output. It also has, let's see here, wireless built in. That's ABGN with Bluetooth 3.0, 500 gig hard drive, a USB 3.0 ports, an SD card reader, and it comes with FreeDOS. 
Our question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. If you want to save money on your next purchase, just email me first, chris at perillo.com. I will send you my latest list of coupons. Dan Brower asks, do you have any idea how to clean up the other space on your iPhone? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Open up your settings app, go to general, and then usage, and what you will see in a few seconds time is a list of all the apps that you have installed, including, and this is usually sorted by the order of size, the data that's being taken up by any one of them. So here I can see that ClearCam has, wow, 591 megabytes worth of data inside. So what I might want to do, instead of just deleting the app, which I can do from here, is open the application and see about clearing any cache. Of course, I could do the same thing by deleting the app itself and then reinstalling it. That would do the same thing. And that's usually where the other stuff happens to be hiding. You know, some people have called me a waste of space, but you are definitely not. Thanks again for appreciating the things that we do for you every day, liking and sharing the content, because without you, I wouldn't be me. Well, I'd still be me, but you wouldn't know me. And Well, I, I think you guys understand what we've got going on here. It's a very special kind of relationship. Not that I want to have your babies or anything. We'll see you later.